My name is Tim Brenneman. I'm a research plant pathologist at UGA working on pecan diseases. And today we're going to talk about pecan scab, which is our number one production problem on pecans in Georgia. You see some of the results of scab just by looking at this branch on this non-treated tree. As you look back through the tree, you see the lack of foliage. So the scab removes the leaves. It affects the nuts themselves. You can see this nut right here. Is completely turned black. By comparison, I've got some uh, nuts here off a sprayed tree where we've done a pretty good job of controlling scab. So these nuts are maturing now, uh, starting to open. This is what you'd like to see a good, well filled, large size desirable. And you compare that to the unsprayed. And a lot of the unsprayed nuts are even gone, they've completely fallen off the tree already. So it causes early uh, loss of the crop. The ones that are remaining are going to be smaller, poor quality, and right now we're in a market that really values large high quality pecans, so any reduction in size and quality can mean a big reduction in the value of those pecans. Uh, most commercial farmers are going to spray at least six or seven times a year on susceptible varieties like this desirable in a wet year, they may spray 15 to 20 times. Wow. So the cost easily gets up in the hundreds of dollars per acre just spent on fungicide to control this disease. The foliage is very important to maintain. You have, you have the effects on the nuts themselves, but the effects on the leaves are just as important because that tree needs to build its reserves on into the fall as late as possible. So if you get early defoliation, the effects on the leaves like you see here, that's going to affect next year's crop as well as this year's crop. Mm -hmm. 